paths that they can just bypass the late game by snowballing early. But against T1, it is always a tall order. And it's not like the T1 lanes necessarily lose early either. Right? So, scary times. This is very scary. A freak out full of mono red. Yep. And their team comp. Yeah. It was set support. Uh, it is set support. Which I think actually pairs very nice with Callista. Yep. Especially when you throw set in. Yeah. He can, you can throw set in and then he can show stopper out, which is super cool. Yes. A way of uh, separating the opponents. Is, uh, yes, this is a pretty historic pick for Cuz. 13 and 5 in the LCK on this Rek'Sai pick. Not going for the Halo Blades, the more brawly version is uh, what he's opted into with the Conqueror. As our first drink is a mountain, it's going to be appearing on the map at five minutes on the dock. Well, we'll take a look at what's going to happen. Obviously, mountain in the cloud. I think cloud is just probably the best first rate that one can actually get get it out of the way. Not, yeah. not in terms of for a team, but in terms of viewing <laughs> But Mountain, I'm not picky, I'm okay with me, first or second. Yeah. Or just as long as it's not yeah, yeah, as long as it's not third. In fact, I mean the best case scenario is for it just not to spawn. Yeah, that is. But it's good to see that you're not gonna get a cloud soul early, because otherwise that looming dread is always there. Although I do suppose that maybe team competitions with really specific champions. If you could end up getting four Cloud Souls and 45%, yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah, there's a few of us. Team has found an inroad on the cannon here. Box is Conqueror Wait, as well. See this happening again. Silas getting level two against Scorn. And then he's the jelly. He's throwing a Teddy as well. A lot of damage. Mystic wanted to be able to get the rend, but unable to actually proc it there under Teddy. Back to this lane, still with potion in hand and has taken the door and shield, so it's a little bit more durable. Because no threat is in the area. Oh, Tremor Sense is going to show him exactly where the elite is. Turn so knock up the threat, turns around. Gets himself out of the way as Hannah. No searing charge, out of the way of King. We still have a ring around the roses being played between these two jungles. Yeah. And Cuz does know where Dread is. That's gonna be careful. Yes, I now call down, but he's able to take the big Raptor already. We're waiting for Faker to be able to move on over here. Scryer's Bloom not going to show where Cuz's location is. I unfortunately, Cuz is giving up and not gonna be able to contest this Rift Scuffler either. Yeah, it's very bizarre. It looks like Faker could actually get over to the elite, but not, not sure what the communication does look like. Nevertheless, yeah, though, Fly getting some assistance on this wave crash. Baker picks up a barrier there in the mid lane. Like you were saying, Fly going to make his way out. Has ignite in this lane. Having to try and do as much damage as he can uh, during the lane phase. Just a long sword and some moves there. To augment his early game, wants to get to Serrated Dirk as soon as possible. To attempt to put on the pressure, but thank you again a very good lane save. We'll waste a couple of minions here on the turret, as he will go home for free with an 11 CS advantage. Comes now finding Dread again, but Dread is getting the better of Cubs here in this early game. Most Scuttle Crabs going his way. Kana has got to be available. So. Yeah, oh, wait! Well, you have to get in. It offensively wanted to turn there. And the reason that he's doing this is actually because there is such a surplus of spellcaster minions that they're effectively acting as additional spells in terms of damage. And so Kana basically well. saying that I'm not in here with you, you're in here with me. As. Bad news because. Yeah, uh, he is bad news bears right now. That's is, uh, scary. Effort is well and truly behind enemy lines. Gets a... Uh, Effort is oh, we're, we're calling that ward Dorothy. Let's see how long Dorothy is going to last. Uh, going to last. I don't like Dorothy. You don't like Dorothy? I don't like it. 
Okay, what do you think? What do you want to call it? Uh... Let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna put down Dorothy like, like that. that. Yeah, I just had to put it. I just had to put it down. It, it just wasn't. It wasn't giving me the same effect that I think it was giving you. Okay, it's fine. I don't mind. I wasn't attached to that anyway. So it's gonna come on over. The threat is once again in the area. We'll see whether it does steal away yet another can. Slide's gonna move in. Yes, he does. Ready. Destroying Cut's jungle right now. He even lands the cocoon on the back end, not able to follow it up, and sends a message that our dread is just going to continue to have control. Billy moving on back down towards the bottom side. As you can see, it hasn't exactly sold too much of a global gold lead for a free go. Only 300 right now. They are winning in the jungle and in the bottom lane. Things are even in the top lane. And quite advantage for Baker in the mid lane. And Nana will find that last auto attack on the king. And uh, now the catalyst is done, it's going to be more and more difficult. Yeah, the king again, the bearings and then. So, this Silas versus Orange matchup is. It, it, okay, hold on. Yeah, bit of a stun there. It's, it's a great display of talent, but Faker is going to cleanse it. It's on out of the way. Why not able to find that one and now has ult on cooldown? As you were. As I were. The, the, the Silas Orange matchup is actually akin to the, the set Mordekaiser. Oh, it just says they voluntarily pick it into Orn, and it doesn't actually win. Yeah. Like, and like the Aatrox choice. It gets out of scale. Aatrox has died off. Well, died off for the most part. Yeah, he was here uh, yesterday. Yeah. But, uh, not as many sins today, by the looks of things. What, what do you mean, not as many sins? We got a whole game of sin right here. Well, I mean, uh, I guess the Breaker is sinning in a different way. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know there was, there was uh, different ways. Well, there are multiple different ways. Kana, I mean, this is a, a lot of pressure that is being gifted by Faker as well as Tuz. Zoning Keen off the entire turret. Keen is level 6. Kana, already level 7, has that Grafia dying again. Get a big turret shot, not the end of the world. Or an ultimate. So, Ronald. Yeah. Randall, I actually asked. Yep. Vandero. Vandero? Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I actually asked him on Reddit. Yeah. Between the series. Okay. Can he figure out if Horn can actually activate Silas's ring? Yeah. I was really nervous. Yeah. yeah, we requested this. Uh, the collective news. Obviously no one with uh, full information there. Let us know if you do know. I'm still level 5. All the solo laners starting to hit level 7 and whatnot. Yeah, Dredd coming on over and we'll take Shelly out of the way as well, as we've got a uh, Cinderhold Rexile coming to go. Pay attention to this as well. An entire bot wave went into the void. Okay? So, that is invalidating the gold that you just get from capturing the Herald. Yeah. That's just a bot wave. Now, obviously, T1 are also responding. The link of Teddy can't make up his mind. He doesn't know where he wants to go. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely a bit of miscommunication. So they ended up getting the Rift Herald and the Punish from T1. Not even going to be there. The Waves did neutralize as far as bottom lane. We'll see how far Teddy can get there. As Evan moving through the jungle, finds Jelly. We'll be able to clear out this control ward. The red buff going to be a point of contention. Likely to be where Dredd's going to be looking. He's going to head down there now. See the question mark thing. Oh, so we're not making his way to the mid lane. And Tana is still just toying with King by the looks of things. Baker, one versus two right now. Might be a dive toward the bottom lane and then the dread. He's on the elite. Very good. Diving turrets. They're not looking to go aggressive against Cuz and Baker right now. No concern to come out from dread either. Volatile spidling goes slightly wide, just a little bit short. And with an early game going this slow and steady for T1, definitely favors them. Yeah, no worries at all. Barely managed to get away there. Okay. Well, we One grass proc. Yeah, we're going to have Bellow's breath, remember, from Kana also, but that's going to be the King Sled. Bringing things back in favor of King and Trade. He's still down in the bomb, right? Like, yeah, he's still just winning. 
not what you want if you're a, a free to free fan. This is been actually really interesting. All members of the Hydra are uh, they're struggling in top lane a bit. In yeah. Spring 2020. Okay, that's trouble. Why? He's going to find it in Spring Slide Balance. Barely makes it. He's going to be the first slide going down, down immediately. Anson by Evan. Fake is going to move on down, down to the control, control, control board. board. He's, He's going to be there. Trouble level and Jelly. Possibly in trouble. Fake call. Held on to here by Mystic. As you can see, as Jelly falls on back, it's a beautiful way. And Mystic is going to be able to lock down the kill. I say bait. Let me use that there with your mouth aghast. You know, like, throwing the fishing rod, the, the hook, into the water, the fish sees the hook. There's no bait on it. Like, you know what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'd like, love to like, bite my, uh, my draw today. Let's see what this metal is. Well, we could uh, potentially uh, ask. Uh, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna have to give him A for effort. I think get it? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's not how you spell that. Is. That's not. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, King's still having a bad time up here. Let's have a look at this one once again. And, uh, just uh, see whether it's a or bear hole. With the knockup, just not it wasn't quite yeah. nice. Yeah. Fly, though, ended up going down. Now take a look at effort. And the bubble trouble lands on the jelly, and Effort's like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and then Teddy's like, you won't, and then he's like, I will. <laughs> and the bait with the grip is actually fantastic to Effort Jelly as well, and I just don't think there's ever a reason to go into that fight because you know Fate's call is available, so... Never, ever should he have gone in there. <laughs> Never have I ever gone Never have I ever. Yeah. That's a game we probably should not play on broadcast, so we can play on this one. That might definitely be one that's a little too shaky. Never have I ever left LS at the at the. I haven't done that either. That is absolutely. Yeah, take a drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to. I was going to hydrate myself. Yeah. I, I stopped. I refrained him just so that I wasn't going to be. Uh, Highlighting and if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're drinking this uh, glorious cup, I think it's coffee. I don't know. I it's coffee. very, very sweet. I yes, it is. That uh, Jason delivered to us. It's fantastic. Uh, but possible team fight coming here. Whoa! And the on horn. Big boy kind of spring play of balance. Only lands on the Teddy to miss it. He's out because already. Afrika, relatively low health bars, but the focus fire is much better from this Afrika squad. Double kill now for Mystic, looking for the triple on the Kana. And what looked like it could have been a good fight, just not working out here for T1. As Kana should be taken, the Haymaker comes through. And there's the belated triple kill for Mystic. And well, this has not been a very good day for Rexide. I will tell you that much. And the emphasis on the side. Yeah. Drake but comes on over, he's going to show us that no. uh, Drake is going to be our, our uh, Dragon Soul. The, the Ocean Dragon doesn't really serve Afrika that much of a purpose, so posturing the way that T1 was, I mean, it was very akin to Twin's performance earlier on tonight, yeah. on the Rex side, just getting completely blown open. MF and Zoe do not have the damage yet to just suddenly delete people, even if you had different positions. You are ultimate, not able to achieve enough. And Mystic just getting all the kills on the Cali Star. It's real scary. Because Callista, of course, has so much peel. Even if your support doesn't want to peel for you, you can tell them that they have to peel for you by pressing R. Very, very powerful. Not exactly with the same death lead that he had in game number one, but his goal score is going to, by far, be the highest in the game. And you can see why more difficult to hit with the trouble bubble in this game. He has found Kana. Kana doesn't seem to be This team is doing a lot of stuff. He's almost able to take down half of the health bar of the arm. He was doing the I'm gonna walk away from this strategy. And T1 are kind of far behind right now, all things considered. Oh, yeah. I do believe that Elise is going Oblivion Orb second item, and so against the Zoe Rexai and MF, and even the Nautilus, look at a 38 MR. It's gonna come pretty close to dealing true damage, so that'll actually help the Elise remain relevant until the later stages of the game. And Turtle Dragon is coming up. We got some spicy drink. Yeah, we are. No Cloud Drake this time around. It's fake with his control ward. Knows exactly what's going on. Bubble lands. 
Onto the gel again. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. More sparkles. Proto Belt put on top as well. Just pick that one up from the lane. As, uh, yeah, Shirley's going to go on a very walk. A very jaunt around here as Cuz wastes a whole lot of his buttons. Re aggroing this Rift Herald. Well, I get to control ward in the back of the pit though, and T1 will need to try and stabilize. Not over just yet. Only 2,000 gold the lead here for Afrika, who, like we were talking about earlier, are sitting with this competition, but a simple bump can still work if you get the required advantage in the early game. Yeah, it really can. So, this is super surprising for game number two. Holy! A, a, a little bit less than a two and a half thousand gold lead, so the ornaments, once they do start coming in, will be very valuable. Kana even taking some of the XP out of the jungle, as Cuz did just take level 9. Baker looking for something. Yeah, that's Proto Belt available again. What is Cuz doing? Tunneling away. He'll be alright. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Saw that. Now he's in powered recall time. That cloak of agility completed here for Teddy, trying to get as much of that cooldown done as possible alongside his uh, S Reba. Maybe taking a bit of damage there, but he's going to fly and sink his arm guard is completed. So a bit of extra armor here from Baker. Control ward effort. Finds himself the red line and the death charge, a lot of damage, but Haymaker is going to bait them in. Fate call from Mystic. Now effort is definitely going to get this done to Tanner. Desperately trying to find Randall a kill, but I'm not going to be able to do so. Yeah, they are on such different pages, it seems, for this game. T1... Really struggling to sort of find their group here in this game. Minute and a half. Oh no, I can I feel... They spotted Jelly. They knew they have to get away. Coon avoided there by Teddy. Really nicely done. Still had cleanse. But now going to retain it. Defending this out of turret top lane. And underneath his right now, but he's going to be able to breathe all these minions to death. Down by about 10 CS after a free hit control of the game, and Dredd will find a face checking effort. But the sun is going to be down, he can't even repel until very late. As Evan does get out of the way, he in here though with the teleport finds the death charge onto Teddy, and he should be taken down. No way that he can flash out of this one again eventually. We'll find that kill. Advantage in the end as they take out the top lane out of turret as well at 6 to 1. It's a kill skill score for Afrika. They are getting very close to the sweet spot that this composition really needs. Yeah. They are super far ahead right now. Faker is going to be hard pressed to actually find a reset and get back in position in time. 30 seconds until Infernal. And the scary thing is that with the Callista, it's not really a 50 50. Even if Rek'Sai tries to go for it as. You can just see, avoided the heat out, I think that that would have actually killed, so just great from hell timing. Out of dread. Being so sick on this. Silas, no way that Teddy can get out of the way. Could have possibly flashed that wall, but unfortunately just not enough time to do so. And didn't want to give up a summoner spell for free. That infernal saw you were talking about now on the table for a free go. T1. Still, of course, capable of winning a team fight as this game moves further forward. They are going to scale more nicely. And Baker is now at that brilliant time of the game where these trouble bubbles can spell death for anyone out of the position. Let's drag Jelly with an, uh, a mystic around. Bubble not going to land on the king. T1 have to give this one up. Infernal Soul Point now available for a free up. For T1 to be able to stabilize. G, likely to be holding on to sole possession in first place after this series, unless T1 can do something amazing. And fly just that Strangler. Straggler. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and the letters in my head, and then the pronunciation. Didn't quite get there. It was a straggler, so I Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I end up pronouncing after. Make it up by area, and Dread is just so tough, but once again, it's going to be so extraordinarily strong. Keen has his first two items and some brown bags completed as well as Sonya's there. He done for the silence. You know, Kana gets his first. What I just said, 
So it's like leave a little bit of a cliffhanger number one until we come back. Is Faker gets two kill then is a freaking perfect game of one kill left. They never get to kill for the rest of his career. Oh my god! The ball up is too much. I can't hear only a sin. Yeah. Well, edge of nine, Baker is in trouble here. He might get a death this game. But he goes golden. Hugs is going to make his way in here. Baker flashes over the wall. That's a real one. Has the cleanse, but Dread gets him with the final Q. Fly with the assist on top of it. And Jelly just trying to keep Cuz out of this. One, zero, one, zero. Not the scoreline Baker was looking for. He was looking for anything above three in the first column. Nothing in the second column. And whatever you have in the last column, it doesn't matter. Fortunate so far this season. He hasn't really been able to find an impact other than it's the FN. On to fly. Two and a half minutes until that infernal soul is being threatened for a freak up. T1 really needs to find an avenue back into this game. Then he goes back, with certain screens, as well as another BF sword, but that is not the molten edge nearly completed as Hannah just waiting to divvy out his ornaments. But you know, sometimes, yeah. That is true. Waiting for the Molten Edge to come in as well as Lasagna's Hourglass, so Lasagna's Paradox. Yep. As he's gonna dodge it. Yeah, it's then right there. Yeah, he's dead. No, they don't. Not like, he's sent to the wrong of these. As Tug's gonna face check Dredd, the real scary champion to face check. Tug throws it on his head, but only gets a solo knockup. It's kinda going to be in position, but doesn't have the ram to send out. Freaking not actually finding him in any of their targets, but not all at this stage. Level 13, cooldown isn't that much of an issue. By his teammate. Eddie, yeah, immediately able to cleanse his way up. And Eppin, not able to find the dread line out of turret mid. He's going to be taken. And that minute, sneaking down at his Colonel Drake. 